Welcome to Kirti's Kitchen Katta. How are you doing today? I really hope you all are doing well during this pandemic. So today we are doing this video for a very beautiful mom, a dear friend, Mansi Ganpule, and she has a blog named The Hourglass Mommy. It's on Facebook and you can go and just search for it. I'm going to put the link below. Also, today we are going to make very 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 simple maharashtrian chiwda poha cha chiwda and let's go so to make this chiwda we are going to need thin poha this you will get in any indian grocery store it's parched rice i have taken like 10 cups of this poha and here are the ingredients and as always i will put the ingredient list in the description box below so go ahead and just check for the exact measurements of it so let's get started so here i have taken 3 tablespoons of vegetable oil and to that i am putting 2 teaspoons of mustard seeds mori so i'm just going to wait for it to splatter since the oil is hot it's going to be very quick so couple of weeks back i had put uh, another type of chiwda that was uh, puffed rice chiwda which is really healthy so you can try that too i have put the recipe and the link of it in the description box too you may want to try that too wow it's fluttering really nicely and after that i'm going to put 2 teaspoon of jeera cumin seeds and lots and lots of curry leaves curry patta just be very careful every ingredient should be really dry when you saute it so the chiwda doesn't become soft later so the curry leaves have changed its color and it's still spluttering that means there is still some moisture in it Now after this I'm putting 1 cup of peanuts these peanuts I have just microwaved for a minute if you have like peanut allergy then just don't add it it's perfectly fine but we all love peanuts so I add a lot of it I'm just going to wait for it to uh fry really nicely and if you can hear the curry leaves are also very dry here see if you can hear the crunch of it the curry leaves are very very dry here i'm just taking it little bit aside they keep cooking but we don't want to burn it After that, I have taken five green chilies and one red chili. It's again your family's taste buds. If you don't like a lot of spicy, just put like couple of them instead of five. and now adding 3/4 cup of roasted gram dal or pandar puri dal it does not take really long for it to cook and to this i'm adding some dry coconut even this does not take a lot of time And now we are going to add 
few more spices like the regular spices first of all goes the pinch of hing as a potato and two teaspoons of haldi turmeric powder and some sugar this is optional but it gives like really nice taste to the chuda now i'm going to add some salt to taste to this tempering and i'm going to add some salt later and now i'm going to add the poha the thin poha just don't dump everything together put it little by little so the masala or the spices are the chuda is coated by the spices really well when you do this If you feel that everything is really dry, you can add a little bit of oil at this time. I'm just going to wait and see. And then I I will add a little bit of oil like a tablespoon or so later. So after stirring for like almost 5 10 minutes, I just added more salt to it. and little bit of sugar like not even half a teaspoon like a big pinch and now i'm going to add an optional ingredient but yes it gives really nice taste to the chuda nice chatpata taste nice tangy tatangi taste and that's nothing but your chaat masala this is 1 teaspoon of chaat masala and i'm going to keep stirring it and in the beginning of the video as i told you the tip to this nice and fluffy and very light chura is put it um, put this poha for a minute in microwave before putting it in the tempering so it's easier it's quicker for this chura to become crispy uh after this what i'm going to do is i'm i'm still going to stir it for another 2 to 3 minutes i can feel that it has become really light now uh but then still stirring is very very important and after that i'm just going to give uh, take it out in a, another big container and just keep it outside for some time and then going to put it in the air tight container never put hot chuda or warm chuda in any container otherwise it will become soft so our yummy crispy chuda is ready patra poha da chuda can you hear the crunch so this is really crunchy nice chuda is ready this you can eat with nice tea and coffee tea is, um the recipe for tea masala chai is there on my youtube channel and i will post the link for the same this chuda you can make during the diwali also it's one of the delicacies during the diwali in any maharashtrian household so i really hope you like this video do like share subscribe so our yummy chuda is ready thank you so much mansi and thank you so much the hourglass mommy facebook page for giving me this opportunity and guys please 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 go ahead and like share subscribe to her channel and to my channel also till then bye bye